Good evening, I'm Judy Woodruff on the News Hour tonight. The pandemic persists, rapidly increasing infection rates from the Omicron variant in the U.S. prompt more COVID concerns. Then high stakes. Congress wrangles over the massive Build Back Better bill and other contentious legislation in the final weeks of the year. And images of freedom. A new exhibit showcases the work of a forgotten photographer documenting the fight for equality in the United States. She was an outsider in a lot of ways. And I think she was able to relate to some of the experiences of the people she was drawn to photographing. All that and more on tonight's PBS NewsHour. Major funding for the PBS NewsHour has been provided by... Fidelity dedicated advisors are here to help you create a wealth plan. A plan with tax-sensitive investing strategies. Planning focused on tomorrow, while you focus on today. That's the planning effect from Fidelity. Johnson and Johnson. BNSF Railway. Consumer Cellular. Financial services firm, Raymond James. The Candida Fund, committed to advancing restorative justice and meaningful work through investments in transformative leaders and ideas. More at CandidaFund.org. Carnegie Corporation of New York, supporting innovations in education, democratic engagement, and the advancement of international peace and security at Carnegie.org. And with the ongoing support of these individuals and institutions. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.